I'm hungry. Season brand skinless and boneless imported sardines in water! All natural, wild caught from the cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Morocco. Contains a whopping 1300 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids per serving as well as a good source of protein. Well, what can I say? For, for a lot of people this might not be a big deal, but for me, I feel like I've just hit like a level up or something. Um, the challenge has just increased. Uh, to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would look. Um, when I was opening this thing up, I was expecting to see the, like those silvery, like shiny fish with the eyes looking up at you, know, like that dead stare. But this doesn't quite have that. This looks like fish fillets because this is skinless and boneless. Maybe someday I'll try the legit stuff. But for now, uh, baby steps, baby steps. What do I do with this? Do I eat it with a fork? Do I just pick it out with my hands? I don't know. I didn't do the research. Oh my god, it's like rock hard. Ugh. Okay, yeah, this... Ugh. Yeah, a lot of people this might not be that big a deal, like I said, but for me, this is a first. This is a virgin experience that you're seeing. The oil and there's all sorts of fragments of fish floating around in here. It smells like... It smells like when you go fishing and you catch a fresh fish and you put it in like a stained bucket and that smell just follows you everywhere the whole day. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like it's fresh out of the sea. And well, at least it looks edible, you know? It looks almost like a cooked fish, you know? Not, not at all what I was expecting. So maybe this won't be as bad as I thought. So I'm only on level two. Let's see, uh, let's see how bad this is. That's actually not that bad. Mm. Yeah, you know what? This was easy. This is this is no problem at all. I wouldn't even consider this going up to level two. This is like this is like level zero. This is like ground floor. This is not bad. I could eat this whole thing probably right in front of you. It doesn't taste like sardines at all. It tastes it tastes almost like tuna, like a like you know cold tuna fish. Which, it's not that big a deal. Finally, thank you. Thank you, man upstairs, for granting me something delicious, or... I wouldn't say delicious, I wouldn't eat this all the time, I mean... But, if it was in front of me, it served to me as an hors d'oeuvre, I mean, I could definitely eat it and not be, like, secretly gagging behind, you know, people's backs. Um, this ain't bad, it's pretty good. I mean, my breath is probably gonna stink for the rest of the day, but... You know, big whoop. If I were to give this a star grade, I would give it three stars. It's not that bad a snack, you know, it tastes like real food. Um, if you put this on a slice of bread and, you know, slathered some mayonnaise on it and told me it was tuna fish, I would have probably believed you. I mean, I would have said that, that maybe it's gone a little bit rancid because it does have a little bit of a, a strange tint to it, but... And it looks awful. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's... it's it looks horrible, but it's actually not that bad. All right, now's the part of the show where, actually, I'd like to introduce a new part of the show where, you know, I thought it was about time I introduced a guest star on this program because I'm sick of suffering through this alone. So we're going to have somebody else come in and taste test this for us. This is what I like to call Second Opinion, starring Jill. Does he like it? He likes it! Alright, I would consider this a big success. That's two thumbs up from me and Jello. So this has been another episode of Limbo Grub. And I know what you guys are thinking. I know why you guys tune in. You don't tune in to see me having a good time. You don't tune in to see me trying new delicious things. You want to see me suffer, do you not? Yeah, that's the reason why you, you tune in. You want to see me gag and, and almost vomit, so... Look at this. 
See that? See all that gunk in there? All right. Just because I love my audience so much. Down the hatch. Mm. Yeah. This is your good buddy, DJ Clarence. <laughs>